There are growing questions tonight about what led up to the crash involving Boston City Councilor Kendra Lara. On Friday, Lara, who represents District 6, crashed an unregistered, uninsured car into a home in Jamaica Plain. The police report says she was driving with a suspended license. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa joins us live from Jamaica Plain now. She's got more for us on this story. Tammy? Ken, that's right. Tonight, there are still so many questions and very few answers about what happened after the counselor crashed a car just down the street at a home here in Jamaica Plain. And now we're also learning that her driving record has a lot of violations and sanctions. Now, Boston City Councilor Kendra Lara slammed into a home with her young son in their car Friday afternoon. We've now found out a state driving record from the RMV says Lara's driving record has multiple violations and sanctions, including failure to appear in court or trial in Connecticut. In Friday's incident, a Boston police report says the car went through a fence before hitting the house on Center Street. Police say her four-year-old son was not in a proper booster seat as required by the law. The little boy went to Boston Children's Hospital and ended up with several stitches over his left eye. Laura's office confirms that she was behind the wheel of that car, which was not hers. The report also says she was driving with a revoked license, had no insurance, and the car was not registered. Plus, it had an expired inspection sticker. We reached out to Mayor Wu's office for comment, but her staff has referred us back to Boston Police. Now, Lara sent out a statement thanking first responders and Good Samaritans who helped the family, saying it was a scary situation for everyone involved. But thankfully, Councilor Lara and her son are expected to make a full recovery. The counselor has been summoned in court. Live in Jamaica Plain, Tati Mutasa, WBZ News.